topic which I told the resistivity and electrical resistivity and conductivity. So the resistance of a metal, the resistance of a metal depends on the two important uh, factors of a conductor. That is, R is directly proportional to the length of the conductor. And again, R is directly proportional to the inversely proportional to the, the area of the conductor. The area means the thickness of the conductor. Yeah, of course. The area means thickness. So the, the resistance of the conductor is inversely proportional to the, the res, uh, thickness of the conductor. So if I combine the both the equations, I can write R is equal to L by A. Or is directly proportional to L by A. But if I want to equate it, R is equal to rho L by A. This rho is called the constant of proportionality. It is otherwise called electrical resistivity of a conductor. And it is again called, can otherwise be called by another name, specific resistance of a given conductor. So if I if I write a rho, then rho is equal to R E by N. So look at this expression. The specific resistance of a conductor or electrical electrical resistivity of a conductor can also be equal as R A by N. Suppose if a conductor, if you assume that this marker is a conductor, if it has a unit area cross section and one meter length or a unit length, then I can write if A is equal to one meter square, then L is equal to one meter, then I can write the formula, the electrical resistivity, namely rho, is equal to R. Then I can define another important definition what is known as or define electrical resistivity or define specific resistance. But specific resistance of a given material is numerically equal to the resistance of a conductor by having unit by a conductor having unit area for cross section and unit length of the conductor. I repeat again. The specific resistance of a conductor or electricity, electrical resistivity of a conductor is numerically equal to the resistance offered to the current by a conductor having unit area of a cross section and unit length. Now, look at the expression now. What is the unit for that? The resistance has a unit of ohm. The area has got m squared and length has unit of meter, cancel it. So the electrical resistivity rho has unit of ohm meter. The reciprocal of the resistivity, the reciprocal of the electrical resistivity is called conductivity. Conductivity. So the ohm minus, so this becomes, so what would be the uh, unit of uh, conductivity? So would be the reciprocal of this particular unit, which has a unit of ohm minus 1 or a meter minus 1, which can otherwise be written as what? Ohm minus 1 or m minus 1 or you can say mo m minus 1. So you can use any of these units for the conductivity, which is nothing but the reciprocal of the electrical resistivity. So now we will go to the next topic of uh, the yeah, classifications of the material in terms of a resistivity. So the resi resistivity value is very important value which will classify the different types of the materials. So I am not going to say the whole paragraph. I am going to say simply the ranges of the values of the uh, electrical resistivity with which I am going to say that the types of the materials. Now, if the resistivity ranges starting from minus 2 to 10 to the power 4 ohm meter then we have to call a material as a conductor semiconductor if the resistivity ranges varies from 10 to the power minus 6 to 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter then we have to call those materials as a conductors. 
And third one, if the resistivity range, if the resistivity value ranging from 10 to the power 8 to 10 to the power 14 ohm meter, then we have to call those material as insulator. I repeat again, these are the classifications of the material based on the electrical resistivity value. Minus 2 to 10 to the power minus 2 to 10 to the power 4 ohm meter must be called a semiconductor. If the materials are having a yeah, resistivity ranges from minus 6 to 10 to the power minus 8, they are called conductors. And if the resistivity of the material if it is so, so high, ranging from 10 to the power 8 to the 10 to the power 4 ohm meter, we have to call those material as the uh, insulators. So next we'll go into the very important topic called superconductors. <coughs> called superconductors. <coughs> but ordinary metals become a better conductors of electricity at a very low temperature. It's a beautiful phenomena the scientists are doing a research. So ordinary metals become a very better conductors of electricity at a very very low temperature. But some metals are conducting electricity without having any resistance when they are maintained at a very very low resistance. But now I am going to explain what are called superconductors. The ability of a certain metals to conduct electricity uh, with a zero resistance at a very low temperature is called <coughs> superconductivity. The ability of a certain metals and its alloys and its uh, combinations to conduct electricity with a zero resistance at a very low temperature is called superconductivity. And the, the materials which are able to behave like that are called superconductor. So the phenomenon of behaving such a property of any material are called a superconductors. So the two types of question will be asked, what is meant by superconductivity and what are called a superconductors. But who actually and found any metal behaving like superconductor? The first scientist named Comerlin Ohm and found in the year 1911 that when he maintained the liquid metal named mercury at the temperature of 4.2 Kelvin and the mercury and lost its entire resistance and started behaving like a superconductor. So we can grab for a yeah, uh, mercury behaving like a superconductor. So along the x-axis you can maintain temperature in degree Celsius but along the y-axis the resistance of a Mercury is actually taken and this is in O. At one particular temperature, say 4.2 Kelvin, the resistance of a see the resistance of the material called mercury drops to zero. So zero, zero ohm. So exactly when the mercury was maintained at a 4.2 Kelvin. The resistance of uh, see that this particular line simply drops to the zero to the initial value. So at 4.2 Kelvin, the mercury loses its entire resistance and started being like a superconductor. It's good. So this is a very important question. At what temperature the mercury started behaving a superconductor? Come and say. That's good. 4.2 Kelvin. But now I'm going to say another important three more question what is known as a critical temperature critical temperature is referred by the symbol TC or transition temperature you can call either the temperature at which a normal conductor starts behaving as a superconductor is called a critical temperature otherwise if they are called it is called a transition temperature is another important three mark question so when a, when a material behaves like a superconductor, it must have some properties. For example, when we have got several many actors, but only one of the actors called Rajnikanth is called a superstar. Why? Everybody knows that. And his character is extraordinary, very simple. 
There is no head back, zero head back. And you can, anybody can.